the long-term goals for Putin in Ukraine are very real and present no matter who is in power in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, he wants, uh, and I've said this before, I think, to, to control a, a huge proportion of the world's energy supply through both food and fuel. Yeah, and and that's he's, what he's looking 30 years in the future when global warming will make Siberia farmland. Mm -hmm. And at that point... And we're all dead, essentially. Yeah, He will have... Also, Ukraine, you know, the breadbasket of the world. And you can have and, whatever you want when the world's over. And, so. and yeah. over or under, underneath the areas that they're fighting for is a major uh, series of oil fields. Yeah. And he also has access to the Black Sea and shipping lanes through, through there, as well as the shipping lanes in the Arctic, which he also wants to control. So he's looking at this huge It's a very strategic right? investment on his Quote, part. unquote, strategic, because, you know, if there was a rational player a more rational player who was more into Nash equilibriums, they could totally have influence over those shipping lanes and they could have influence over Ukraine without being um, totally uh, militaristic about it. Yeah. Um, so he's still thinking in these 19th century terms and that's the big problem. Um, Definitely. Is that we don't have time for that. Right? And it's leading so, uh, to yeah. a potential so, uh, nuclear Armageddon. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 so, and so while we, we've obviously straight towards it. pushed yeah. Russia, Russia was always going to try this. Um, under Putin, definitely in some way, shape, and or form. Do you We're think we see should... and, and we we are in the best position now to make it cost as much as possible and even stop it right now? Because if this continues, Russia will destabilize over time. Um, it already and, is. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And so uh, that is a huge success right now. Um, the the so ultimate who, success so would be to destabilize Russia without uh, them launching any nukes if, and if then Russia to bargain with the next administration. What happens? Does that mean we get a piece of the pie too? <laughs> I'm, Does I've, that also, if it destabilizes, what stops Putin from just being like, I'm, if I can't have it, no one can. That's, that's the no big risk, right? Yeah. And, and that's what they keep threatening. Um, but 